Israeli film has been going through a renaissance of sorts over the past few years with Israeli-made television series, movies, actors, and actresses all making their mark on the world stage. One such amazing and award-winning film, which has gone on to the Haifa and Warsaw Film Festivals, is Antenna, a film about a Holocaust survivor whose neighbor leases out his roof to install an antenna. Take a look. <laughs> Hi, now here with us today in the studio is film critic Ron Fogel and the writer and director of Antenna, Ari Kotstein. Thank you, both of you, for coming in. Uh, mm. Very much appreciate it. Now, uh, my first question is for you, Arik. Uh, tell me about the film. What's the main idea? Well, the main idea, the main story is actually it's based on a true story, something that happened to my father uh, when his neighbor put uh, rented his leased his roof of the house to the cellular camp company, and he, and my father started freaking out about the radiation from the <laughs> antenna. And it's kind of dragged the whole family into this like uh, war it's against like this neighbor. Black so hole. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so I use this story as a metaphor for stuff that I wanted to tell about Israeli families, about the dynamic of the Israeli family. So what was what was some, what were some of the din dynamics that you touched upon in the film that you really wanted to get out there? A lot of it has to do with the way that the past. I think the past of our parents and the past of the. The Jewish people in general is affecting the, the, the everyday life of Israelis, even in ways that they are not completely aware of. Like um, in this family, the three sons are adults. They have their own lives, they have their own kids, they have their own problems. And mm. in a way, they seem very independent and very not in touch with their father past. But in actually, in the film, everything that you see that happens to them has to do with the father past, which is lays over like a shadow over this family. It's kind of it's like Holocaust survivors. The kids of Holocaust survivors are oftentimes referred to as survivors themselves, in a sense. In in a sense, but th the thing is that I didn't want to do uh, a movie about like uh, a second generation, sure. about like uh, you know intergenerational transference. I wanted to do an entertaining movie. Mm. And in my family, the dynamic is usually very funny and lots of black humor in it. And, uh, mm. and so I wanted to bring that to the screen. Because if you personally, if you tell me, hey, let's go to see a, a movie right. of dealing uh, with you know, issues of it's second generation, heavy. I wouldn't go. It's a very heavy film, yeah. I wouldn't go. So I wanted to make it like uh, I come from television. And, I w and it's very important for me that the movie would be very entertaining. Yeah, and, this is you your know, first film, is it not? Your first, it's my first, first feature, film. feature film. Yeah, I've done wow. a lot of television before, scripted television. That's incredible. All right, well, Ron, I mean, you, you've seen the film, and yes. you, you know, what are your impressions of it? Is it sad and, and depressing, or is it comical and amazing? Um, it, it's, it's sometimes <laughs> sad, it's sometimes funny. It's a bit of a roller coaster, you can say. But Wim Wanders once said that uh, if after 15 minutes, when he watches a film, he doesn't see a local angle, he leaves the theater. And this film has uh, universal themes, but you know you're watching an Israeli film made in Israel because of the uh, grandfather who's an Holocaust survivor, because one of the sons is an officer in the army. And the thing that attracted to me to the film, it felt very authentic. Wow. I think that Ari uh, captured the sense of the Israeli family in the 21st century, and that's the interesting thing about the film. Even, mm -hmm. even if you think a bit of a bit dramatic, a bit comical, but it's a very authentic film. Yeah. I believed the film, and I have to say that Alex Peleg, the, yeah. the protagonist, and also Gil Almagor as his wife, mm -hmm. are two, one of the uh, leading Israeli veteran actors, Especially Alex Pelik plays yeah. magnificently. Only for him, you should buy a ticket for the film. All right, well, on that. How old is he, by the I way? I agree. He's, he's just turned 80. Well, he, I mean, he looks amazing in the film, and I, you know, I've seen the trailer, I've seen some of the clips. I cannot wait to see it. And actually, on that note, unfortunately, we've run out of time. But yeah, it's uh, Antenna, it's in theaters right now. Go and check it out. It's an incredible, incredible film. 
And thank you, both of you, for coming in today and telling thank us Thank you for having us. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye.